Welcome to this episode of Boof Wang Academy, where I help you learn how to do fancy stuff on your Boof Wang UV5R or similar radio, one short, simple lesson at a time. My name is Randolfo Cafe, and I have been an undocumented hams radios operator for over 40 years. And in this lesson, I am going to show you how to save and delete channels on your Boofwang UV5R or similar radio. There are two ways to save a channel on a Boofwang UV5R or similar radio. There is the easy way, using your computer, and the very manly way, using your fingers. Obviously, I am going to show you how to do it the very manly way. Way. To save a frequency as a channel for quick and easy access on your radio, you must first put the radio into VFO mode, also known as frequency mode. And to do this, you simply crush the big orange VFO MR button, which will switch the radio between channel mode and frequency mode, or as us radio experts refer to it as VFO mode, thusly. When the radio is in channel mode, you will see these little channel indicators. And when the radio is in VFO or frequency mode, you will see no little channel indicators. And as an added bonus, the sexy Japanese radio voice lady will also tell you which mode you are in each time you press the big orange VFO MR button to help further reduce confocularity. Mode. After successfully putting the radio into frequency or VFO mode, as us radio experts refer to it as, as indicated by the lack of any channel number indicators, using the keypad, type in the frequency that you wish to save. The frequency must be six digits long with three numbers on the left and three numbers on the right of the little dot in the middle. Thusly, should you enter a frequency that the radio does not support or does not like, the sexy Korean radio voice lady will just say, Cancel. After you have the frequency that you want to save as a channel showing on the screen, you may now begin the process of saving it as a channel. And to do this, first press the menu button and navigate your way to the mem channel option by pressing the up or down arrow buttons. There are other ways to do this step, but this is the manly way to do it. Once you find the mem channel option, crush the menu button again to select that menu item. Memory channel. And now this is where it gets a little bit confusing, so please pay very close attention. As you scroll through the different channel numbers to select which channel you want to store your frequency on, you will notice that some of them show just the number, like these, and others show the letters CH, and then the number, like these. If it shows CH and then the number, this means that that channel already has something stored in it and you cannot use that channel for anything else until you first delete that channel. So just keep using the up or down arrow until you find an open channel, meaning that it shows just the number without the CH in front of it, and then crush the menu button again, and your frequency will now be stored on that channel number. Confirm. You can then either wait several seconds for the radio to automatically switch from menu mode back to radio mode, or just press the exit button to hasten the event. To enjoy the channel that you just saved, you will now have to switch to channel mode, which, as mentioned only moments ago, is very easily done by crushing the big orange VFO MR button thusly. Channel mode. And right there before you is the very channel that I just saved as indicated by the tiny channel number on the right. And now you are done. However, if the channel number that you wanted to use was in use, as indicated by the CH in front of the channel number, but you want to use that channel number anyway, you can delete or clear out whatever was on that channel by going to Menu. Menu. 
finding the delete channel option, crushing the menu button again, delete channel. then scroll through to find the channel that you wish to delete, and then very aggressively crush the menu button one more time. Confirm. That channel is now cleared and you can store a new frequency in it by following the previously mentioned steps. Congratulations, because if you paid attention, you now know how to add and delete channels on your Boofwang UV5R or similar radio. <laughs>